Welcome, one and all, to my YouTube channel, Techno Babble. I am the Techno Babbler here with your Sims in the City series reboot, and we are getting into one of my favorite families. I know I say that just about with every family because I love each and every one of these families, but this is my favorite series. It brings me so much joy. It is style and flair, and I am ready to get back into it. Uh, with our wonderful Sims, we have Violet, who is up rather early for her, in my opinion. Uh, she is working on updating her social networking. She's paid some bills, and now she is writing up a book. Because where we left off was her aspiration is best-selling author. And I've only just recently started paying attention. I don't know if you guys have paid close attention to the reward traits, but you see here... If you mouse over the aspiration, you can see the reward trait for a best-selling author, so if I meet all of those goals, is poetic. And the poetic sims can capture life itself in a book and wield it to bring back someone oh. they lo they've lost. Which really isn't anything I want her to do, but that's where she started off. I might change this up because I think she's wanting oh. to become a little bit... Okay, guys, I think she wants to be famous. I mean, it's pretty evident if you've been watching along, following the series, she loves the spotlight. She wants to own her own restaurant. She wants to own her own club. I think we're going to have her look into getting enough money to buy and uh, get her own club slash restaurant set up so she can have a place to entertain. She loves to sing. She loves, she's in love with music. She loves to perform and she also loves good food. So I think we're going to look into having Violet discover and raise enough money. She's currently in the, uh, what is it? The clickbait writer. See, she's in the social networking career. Um, huh. and she's just kind of done that because Witoony. that's, that was what she did. She, oh. It was, uh, easy enough for her to do something she could do. She's sort of, let's see, is she still famous at all? She is a one star oh. celebrity. Oh. We're definitely going to work on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we are going to oh. have her develop this idea of owning her own restaurant. And we might e actually even explore in this episode, possible areas where she could huh. own her own restaurant buy her own restaurant the other person in this series huh. is des ani and des yeah. you guys know is actually She's already a budding star let's see where he is Jimmy he is almost a Ivan. uh second level Sorry. star he's currently a notable newcomer and i love it so des has this wonderful awful trait where he has to be let me go into the fame points he is so vain and if you guys have followed along in the series, Des is so into himself. Like, he's in love with himself. And, I mean, nothing... I can't blame him. I mean, the guy is simply gorgeous. He's very handsome. He's very talented. He's very, like, filled with confidence. And so much fun to play. Uh, let's see. Does he have one relationship going on or multiple relationships going on? Let's see. He... See, he is a flirty sim. He is... Uh, got something going on with Masoto. He's a little flirty with Henry and Celine. Uh, I, it's like a love-hate relationship. I love this. There is a love-hate relationship going on with Celine. And if you guys watched one of the first episodes, you learned... Oh, no, no. It's the episode with Takahashi and Nugget. I think Salim wins the lottery. So maybe we can play off getting some romance with Salim just to get some of that money. Although they're not they're not doing too poorly. They have 36000 in simoleons. And his aspiration is and has been for a while now to uh, become a painter extraordinaire. And when he does that, he gets the impressionistic reward trait. Impressionistic sims have captured the essence of feeling and can create highly emotional works of art regardless of their actual mood. So I've never actually achieved that. So I'm really excited to do that. I'm going to let him keep working on his wall. We have we never started that. He had this lovely mosaic on the floor in his bedroom. He has this beautiful wardrobe. And let's see, he is a dancer also. I remember that we have this dance floor in here, which is looks awful in this apartment. So we are going to have to like maybe get rid of that and change some things up. Uh, meanwhile, Violet, let's see, your work starts for you. About, we're going to work from home. And I want to just quickly click into here just while you guys are here. We're going to look at... I kind of want to change hers to famedom. I don't know. I mean, maybe fortune. No, I don't even think that's what she's about. I think maybe it's a popularity. Let's see, world famous celebrity, unstoppable. Sims with the unstoppable fame are immortalized celebrities incapable of experiencing fame decay over time. They're so 
comfortable in the limelight that they'll never react poorly towards those pesky paparazzi. They also receive an extra fame perk, fame perk point. I think I'm, I know this is crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and choose that aspiration. But this is the reboot. We're like ah. starting over. Now that we like know our Sims ah. even better, this is where we are at. So she's working on a book. And a book is a great oh. way to become a celebrity. But I think that she would really focus on posting um, videos regularly. And I know she had a drone. Yeah, she's got a drone. Um, I don't know. Let's see if we have any video inventory in here right now. We do. We have some jazz album. We have a jazz album part one, jazz album part two, and it's pop baby part one. This is actually pretty good. So we are going to, um, let's go ahead and upload that video after we're done. And then we're going to go back to our view video inventory and we are going to uh edit that video for certain the jazz video i want her to get well known and he's having a good old time in here painting and i am loving it but we are feeling really like in need of some social gathering so i think he might call up a friend of his invite him over no you know what he's gonna stop this he's gonna come in here and he's just gonna talk to violet because they are such goody friend good friends Oh wait, he has to go look at himself in the mirror. This this trait is absolutely awful, but so perfect for Dez. He's so in love with himself, he has to go. And he's so vain, he has to look at himself in the mirror, he has to look at himself, he has to talk. I love it, I think that's absolutely hilarious. While he's in here, we're gonna have him use the bathroom. And I am thinking we need to, we need to get uh some repair skill up let's see what violet's repair skill is at her handiness oh my gosh it's so low it's so desperately and sadly low i don't know if i can handle this i've been playing some sims off camera and they like have a full handiness level and i love that uh all right so you know what uh violet you might need to work on your videos and you might also need to work on getting that handiness skill up uh i could see him maybe doing that maybe like in the sculpture side of things i could maybe see him doing that could we could we fit a little sculpture table in here oh it sounds like geek Con's in town well i love geek Con. i don't really think these guys would at all participate i want to see if i can fit a woodworking bench table in here because we do not yet have our arts and crafts pack we're really knitting is going to be the focus but i could totally see him being like a sculptor as well so let's go here into what am i looking for skills where are my skills uh activities and skills Perdol. And I think it's in creativity, flower, there it is. Let's see if we can at least put one in here. I wonder if I could put one in here if I put the cheat on. Uh, BB, oops, shift control C, BB dot move objects on. What did I do, you guys? That's something weird. Okay, there we go. BB that move objects on. Let me go back into here and grab this guy. Put it here. No, it's a tight fit. We can maybe move this. And you know what? I think I like that one there because I think of the window placement. Yeah. Oh, it's got. We put the artwork thing too. Let's turn this like this. Oh, oh, oh! I think I love that. No, I don't love that. Let me move these to over here. I know, it's like a total, complete reno, really techno, like that's what you're going to be doing? Yes, that is what I'm going to be doing, you guys, because I think I want him to have him work on his handiness, because I could totally see him coming in here, craft sculpture, and he is going to work on creating some sculpture, which will give him some handiness, which I love. Uh, he's also getting hungry, and I think it is, I think Violet actually has quite a decent oh, so. cooking skill there's our maid you know what i think that is the same maid for takahashi that is hilarious okay uh she her hunger's down her social's down we have her doing way too much over here so we are going to have her finish what she started and then she's going to come in here 
they have this lovely coffee maker. Uh, I think I'm going to have her prepare some brec oh, brunch because it is 1030. So we're going to serve brunch and we're going to serve mm, pancakes sound really good to me right now. Oh my goodness. Really? The screen's still open. Uh, so she will make some pancakes. He is going to work on getting his handiness skill up. Although I really want him to get this. Where are we in this process? We are, oh my gosh, we just have to get to level 10. Okay, so we're totally going to work on that also. And I'm going to let him get his handiness skill up a little bit. I can totally see him. I really wish we had like a clay table. And I know that wasn't in the boat, but I really hope that maybe in the future we get one. What's this say? Mark Eggleston, let's try to win one of those Geek Con challenges. I hear they give out some great prizes. Let's try for the... Oh, wait, I'm just missing. I hear they give out some great prizes for the highest score. Hmm, do we really want to go? I don't really want to go, but I do want to get to know this person more. Who is this man? Uh, I don't know who it is. It must be a friend of his. So let's maybe call him up. Come over to our phone and we will chat with. And let's, there he is, Mark Eggleston. I don't know who that is. I'm curious to find out. And does she have a romance? I feel like she maybe had a romance for a minute. Oh, maybe not. Oh, is that her neighbor? I think Salim lives here. Oh, he's the worst. Uh, the time spent at the woodworking table has paid off well. He's got a... Whatchamacallit? Um, in the meantime, he is getting hungry. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to have him come in here. And can he maybe tell a dramatic story and then when they're talking she would totally be like uh my computer is destroyed can you believe that and he will probably try to go fix it i don't know what will happen because his skill is not that high oh and i remember they have this bubble blower and he loves his bubble blower and he loves to dance why didn't you come over here and talk to her let's uh tell an unbelievable story and then when they share that little bit, we will then have him come over here and see if he can repair that device. Watch a karaoke performance and have a drink at a club. That, there you go. That sums him up. What is this? Show off your muscles. Yes, literally these aspirations, or no wait, these whims right here exactly sum up what his whole like story is, which is hilarious. Uh, all right, let's go over here. She is making some pancakes. They're having a lovely little conversation, which is good. That counter is now filthy. I love this apartment. I love all the pop art. I love all the art. I think this is all work that he's created, which I really like also. Uh, all right, he's going to have a go at this. Hopefully he does not get electrocuted and or die. That would make me very, very sad. I do love that her bedroom is totally like all set up for like work she's totally whoops she is totally like an entrepreneurial sim she wants to make the money and now she wants to be famous so we are gonna have to work on that a lot uh i think i'm gonna let them go ahead and have some breakfast and then after they've had some breakfast we'll go out and have a little bit of fun on the town all right, so after breakfast, Des went ahead and picked up a new job. He needs to study some design documents. He's a freelance artist, for those of you who didn't know. Uh, and it looks like she is going to need to update her social media, social network profile twice. And also play video games for two hours at GeekCon. So we weren't planning to go to GeekCon, but work dictates that she will. So before we do that, we're going to come over here and we are going to, let's see, I want to go into the video editor and I want to come here. And we are going to, uh, let's add, add some effects to that because I could totally see some fun musical effects uh, while she's working on that. Uh, let's see, Dez is now researching. There's what he made, the horse sculpture for $20. We can go ahead and sell that. I am not really looking for him to make money off of his um, sculpting, but really just get that handiness skill. And what do we have? Robot salvage parts? That's hilarious. He's going to work on that. And then the other thing he needs to do is he needs to create environment concepts on the sketch pad. So we will do that uh, next uh, if she's not yet done because i think that they'll both go to geek con which will be fun uh because i think des would not be the kind of person who stays at home to work on a project he would want to go out he'd want to 
uh, enjoy what's happening, and I love this. He has got to go admire his fine oh, self with regularity. Yeah. Otherwise, he gets <laughs> tense, which <laughs> cracks me up. I think it is hilarious. It is one of the funniest little traits. Wow. It's also too perfect. Uh, let's see. View video inventory. Uh, that is good now. All right, no, that one's good also. Maybe we can also uh, edit this video too while she's at it because we're waiting for him to finish up his project. Let's see what time it is. 3.30, I think, oh. after she edits that video. Uh, let's see, what time is the concert going to? Let's have her come read the note about the project. Okay, so she is out here checking out the board. It is almost 5.30 now. A couple hours has gone on. Uh, let's see. It did not tell us the read about the festival. I want to know what time the festival actually is. Uh, what is it telling me? It's, it just looks like it's telling me... Is that what that message was? All right, well... Oh, man, his... He is... Des has been working on sending stuff out. Maybe he will stay home, and he's too... You know what? He's too, he's too ticked off. When is this project due by? Because... Uh, let's see. It's due by Saturday. It is Tuesday. No, they are going out. They are going to go to the Geek Con, which is happening where? I don't think it's happening here. Uh, let's see. Is Geek Con happening here? No, we are going to travel now to Geek Con. Okay, so it said that Geek Con was going on. I am really, really confused. I thought Geek Con happened. Oh, it says visit Geek Con in the fashion district. Oh my gosh. All right. So we are going to now go to... First, we're going to tell a joke. We are going to uh, tell a dramatic story. We're going to say, uh, Des, I thought you said Geekon was going on here. And then I think Des would be like, oh no, I totally was not thinking of the right thing. And a uh, funny story. Geekon's actually happening in the fashion district. So we need to head over to the fashion district as soon as possible. So they're going to finish that conversation up and then head on over to the fashion district. We have arrived in the fashion district, and you guys, there is no Geekon going on. What am I missing? I swore Geekon was happening. Her job even said that she needs to go to Geekon for two hours. There is, it even says, visit Geekon in the fashion district and play games on the festival computers. There's no Geekon happening here. Oh, well, it's quite all right, because we have had a fun-filled episode of getting to know The Sims a little bit better. We are going to have Violet come in here. She is going to sing, oh, you know what? We have got to go disco. We are going for Funky Sims. He's going to come in here, and he is going to order, dr order happy hour drink. What are we going to choose? He is going to choose, let's see, what is what is the drink that he would be all about. Uh, fizzy, fruity drink, maybe. Dim and gusty, maybe. I think he's going for a tang and zing. That seems like something that Des would be like, this is too much. This clients that these clients that I am working for are driving me crazy. They're not happy with any of my work. I cannot handle this right now. I just need a nice drink and I need to go out and relax and have a good time. And you know what? That is what style and flair is all about. We've got Violet singing it up here on the stage, keeping everyone entertained. We've got Des drowning his sorrows in his drink. He's obviously going to get to know the bartender as well as Gunther. And you know what? We are going to wrap this episode up. I love this family. I know you guys, I keep saying that I love all of these families, but it's true. I do. And that's one of the reasons I love this series is because there are so many great families inside of it and so many stories to tell. And so I am hoping with this reboot that I get to continue all of the great stories of all of the Sims I shared with you in the first version of this series and I am planning on adding a couple more families so I'm really excited to just keep exploring gameplay with you guys uh, leave me a comment down below let me know what you what color you guys think that Dez's favorite color is he's an artist he loves all of these different colors he loves all of the different mediums I want to know what you color you think if you're watching all the way to the end what color you think Dez's favorite color is and I'm gonna have Violet uh, 
Oh, you know what? We're going to sing another song. No, we're going to no, sing a duet, though. Sorry. We're going to go ahead and sing a pop <laughs> duet, and we are going to sing that with Tabitha Malone. Tabitha Malone. Uh, I, you guys might have seen her walk in. She's sitting over here at the bar. She is an artist also. She's part of the Artist Guild. She is a sim I created in this world when I was not playing on camera and I played off camera. And she is so fun and I love her and her husband and they have a dog. Uh, maybe I'll add them into the mix too. I don't know yet. But right now I think she and Violet are going to take us out in this episode with a... Hey, you guys get out of here. We were going to sing a duet. She was sad. We're singing a duet. We're singing a pop duet. We're singing it with, oh, she's leaving. All right, you know what, Anaya, we'll sing with you because you were up here on stage. It looks like we are all like having a fight about who's going to be here on stage. But I want Violet to take us out uh, with a pop song because she is going to be working on getting famous. We're going to have her update her social network. If the geek kind of ever starts, maybe we missed it all together. Uh, hopefully we can at least update our social media network. Here we go, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Be sure to tune in, subscribe to the channel, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a comment down below telling us what color is Dez's favorite color. And I hope you guys are enjoying the episode. I'm having so much fun and I'm literally laughing my face off with these two singing this pop song. I absolutely love it. Until the next video, Tomalagi! Some friend.